Good morning, travelers. Welcome to another Monday, a new week and new stories. I am Chitra, Associate Editor, Travel and Your World, and your host today. Today, we'll dive, dive deep into the depth of travel with topics of the industry. As you know by now, we go live every Monday to Friday, 9.30 a.m. EST, and feature what's happening in the industry. I have got some thrilling updates from the global tourism scene that will have you packing your bags in no time. Whether you are an industry pro or just love exploring new places, today's episode is packed with news you don't want to miss. Let's dive in together. First, I'll talk about Sea Trade Cruise Mate 2024 Malaga, which is calling all cruise lovers. Let's kick things off with the major events in the cruise world. If you are love, if you are into cruising or you are in the industry, mark your calendars. Sea Trade Cruise Mate 2024 is heading to Malaga, Spain. That's right, Malaga is set to host the Mediterranean's largest cruise conference and exhibition. This event brings together all the big names in the cruise industry, leaders, innovators, you name it. With the Mediterranean being a top cruise destination, you can bet this event will focus on what's next in Europe. If you're looking to network or just check out what's new in the cruise industry, this is a place to be. Plus Malaga, oh, the sun, the sea and the incredible food. What's there not to love? Secondly, I'll talk about Indigo. Indigo's bold move to double international routes. Indigo Airlines is making waves with their big international expansion plan. They are doubling their international routes by the end of this year. Can you believe that? This is a massive step in their goal to boost global tourism. For all you wanderlust souls out there, this means more options and better connections to explore new destinations. More flights, less hassle, that's something we all love, right? And now let's go towards uh, Greece. Greece is imposing a new cruise tax. Yes, Greece has introduced a new cruise tax for visitors to Santorini and Mykonos. Now, before you roll your eyes, it's actually for a good cause. This tax is designed to help curb the over-tourism and promote more sustainable tourism practices. These islands are, let's face it, they're pretty popular and this move will help protect their natural beauty. So if you are planning to cruise through Asia, just be prepared to chip in a little extra to keep these stunning places intact for our future generations. Okay, so now moving on to Southeast Asia, Scoot expands new routes. All for you. Yes, Scoot Singapore's low-cost airline is expanding its presence in the region with new routes to Kedachati, Indonesia, and Malacca. These are lesser-known destinations, but trust me, there are some hidden gems. For starting temples to untouchable beaches, you are gonna check out these places. Out, check it out. So, if you are looking, has got your back. And next, moving on to another conference and exhibition, IT and CM Asia. They are uniting the global tourism industry in Bangkok. So this is another update from the event industry. Asia's premier MICE, I mean meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibitions and corporate travel events. It's going to be a hub for the global leaders. Whether you are into corporate travel or even planning, this event is where all the action is happening, plus Bangkok delicious street food, vibrant culture, the less I say, it's more about Bangkok. It's always a great place to visit. And now talking about Lisbon's MICE destination, speaking of MICE events, Lisbon is back once again. The city has just been named as Europe's best MICE destination for 2024. It's not hard to see why Lisbon's got that perfect blend of history, modern venues, and of course, great weather. If you are uh, ever attended and even there, you know how charming and professional the experiences can be. Big congrats to Lisbon for yet another win. And I go to some hotel. by the Indian Ocean. 
It's like the best of both worlds, Mediterranean cuisine with a tropical beach vibe. If you are headed to Bali, you have got to check this place out. Perfect for a romantic dinner or just treating yourself to something delicious. And I'm back once again to airlines uh, because airlines only give us new hopes and new connections. And Spirit Airlines adds new flights for Balloon Fiesta in Albu. Kariki. So if you are more of a thrill seeker, check this out. Spirit Airlines is adding new daily flights from the last to Los Angeles to Albuquerque just in time for October's Balloon Fiesta. If you have never seen this festival, just check it out on Google. It's a must. Hundreds of colorful hot air balloons floating in the sky. Absolutely breathtaking. So these new balloons, uh, this sorry, this new flight make it easier than ever to get there. So if it's on your bucket list, now it's time to go. And yes, another airline news, airlines. The United Airlines retires the iconic A320. Now, it's a bit of nostalgia. United Airlines is marking an end of era with the final flight for its iconic A320 from Denver to Marana, Arizona. It's always a bittersweet when an airline retires a classic of like the A320. It's been a workhorse in the fleet for decades and this final flight is sure to be an emotional one for the aviation enthusiasts. So here's to A320. Thanks for all the memories. And once again to Southeast Asia, Bali is tackling over tourism with innovative solutions and leading in charge in the flight for you know over tourism by adopting some innovative solutions from global hot spots they are tackling overcrowding while ensuring that the island stays a sustainable beautiful destination for future visitors it's great to see popular destinations like bali taking serious steps to protect their natural beauty and culture well that's all for today if you have enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review and of course share with us your own adventure stories until next time, as I always say, stay adventurous, stay curious, and keep exploring. I'm signing off today, and let me remind you, we go live every Monday to Friday, 9.30 a.m. EST, and I'll see you in some next episode very soon. Enjoy the week ahead. Bye-bye.